super cool upgrade. I mean, I have performance upgrade. <music> Top notch upgrade that you cannot get anywhere else. <music> Hi guys, yo boy Martin here and today super cool upgrade. I mean, I have performance upgrade. Top notch upgrade that you cannot get anywhere else. So these are high performance floating rotors. Floating rotors, I will repeat that. Floating rotors for your Canem Spider F3 or RT. We have the same solution. So if you have Riker, you can also listen to this. Only the installation is different, but we have the same solution for Rikers as well. We have floating rotors, high performance ones for your front rotors or front brakes. And what they will do or how they work, why floating, why wave design, why these big ass openings, where you can get them. Well, actually, you know that martinthevlogger.com slash shop, your number one place in the world for Canem Spider and Riker parts. So where you can get them top tips and actually how they look on the bike, everything in today's video. Before we will get to this description and how it works, thing I want you to do, in case you like what I do, in case you like this channel, in case you would make me and this channel to succeed, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to this channel, hit the like to this video and write into comments. And today's question is, do you own Canem Spider or Riker? And if you do, what model and year? And let me know if you hear that kind of squeaking sound like ee, 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 no, uh, shh, 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 shh. Do you hear that when you push your bike? That means, by the way, that your rotor is twisted a little. So uh, that's a question. And by the way, guys, very important thing. I have just introduced uh, that you can become a family member of Martin the Vlogger YouTube channel. What it means, basically, you can click join button next to the subscribe me button or subscribe button and you can become a member and support this channel to so we can make more cool videos. Some rewards for ya. In case you will choose MTV Active Riders membership level or higher, every time, like today, when we release a new video about the product, about the upgrade, you will get a special discount only for MTV Active Riders and higher memberships. That means in, for this high performance floating rotors, it's 5% discount for the time of two weeks from the moment of releasing the video. So that means if you're watching right, like from the moment of releasing to the, the video, like today. And 5% uh, discount, 5% discount, I think it's something like already like nine months of paid membership, what you will save and that's just only one product. We have about 500 products on our shop. Now let's cut this bullshit and get to the point. So what is this upgrade about? Why floating? Why high performance? What is the difference towards, let's say, EBC rotors that we also have on our shop? Uh, why wave design? Why these big openings? So let's start with the floating rotors. I don't know if you are familiar with this. I'm not technician, so don't catch me by words, all right? So you have these little rings and that allows when you apply the brake, of course, you're creating the heat. If the rotor is underperformed, like we have on our F3s and RTs, the rotors are not, they're underperformed. You twist them with the heat because they cannot expand. They can just rotate. So they will twist, they will twist more, 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 and they will create shakiness and vibration into your pedal. So this will actually expand there and back. So therefore the heat distribution and basically is not affecting the, the sharpness, the straight line. So therefore you will, as I like to say, you will not cook them. Okay. Why wave design? Why big openings? Because it looks cool. But that's not really the point. The point is that they do not catch that much dust. So in dusty conditions, you still have the 
same or very, very, very similar as a clean disc uh, braking power. Also, they don't catch that much water. So in rainy conditions, you can stop much faster and much better. And wave design and stuff, it's for heat distribution also. So better ventilation, keeping the discs in um, higher, when their higher performance are required, more cool down. So they will remove the squeakiness. You will not twist them. They are working better in dusty and rainy condition and give you constant performance because they do not overheat that much as other rotors. Now, very quickly, why this is much different than the EBC upgrade, because EBC upgrade has nothing to do with performance. EBC upgrade is a very nice upgrade. EBC rotors are very nice rotors, but basically I have them on the shop. It's just one to one almost to your stock. They just look better. Price is very interesting. If I have to say 7% upgrade, that's it. These are high performance rotors. This is real upgrade. Now onto installation and guys, we are messing with brakes. If you don't know what you're doing, don't do it. Take it to a service center, but we will do it in our garage. Oh, one more thing. Of course they do come with ABE certificate. What it means? Well, it's quite popular in Europe. I don't know how it is in North America and other parts that you are watching my channel from. Uh, basically, it's a, I call it health and safety certificate. So somebody has tested these rotors, put it on the bike, applied brakes, and they said, okay, everything works at least at stock. Of course, in our case, better. So it's a road legal. You can pass MOT tests and everything. So that's the reason why we have EBE certificate delivered together with amazing rotors to you. Before we will start the installation, make sure you use common sense so your bike is not up the hill, down the hill, and have the handbrake on. Untight three screws. Raise the bike. Remove the wheel. Prepare some boxes or something where you can leave the caliper. Remove two bolts. They may go a little bit harder because they are pretty tightly screwed in, but take them out. This is the torque you will need to apply when you will put them back. Sit the caliper on your already prepared base. And this part of the job, it's only for those, they will also change the brake pads, which is also our case. Changing brake pad job, it's pretty easy. Remove the security clip, unscrew the bolt. The metal security clip will most probably fall uh, away or out. Remove the brake pads and put the new ones back in, in the same orientation and same position as you have removed the stock ones or brake pads that you have had that before. I recommend you to do it one by one so you are not lost. Put back this metal clip, put through the bolt and tie it. Put in the security clip. Leave the calipers sitting on your base on the side. The reason why we're doing it like this is because we don't want to break or do any damage to this brake fluid pipe. Grab your rotors and with these facing out from your bike. So these are on the inside. Insert the new rotors.
very important information before we will finish this video. I know I have told you that you will not cook, overheat or twist these rotors. Everything is possible, of course. But in order to limit the chance of you twisting the rotors and actually damaging them, follow this simple guideline. First, 300 kilometers, so let's say 200 miles, you just slightly brake. Don't take it up the hill, raise your friends, nothing like that. Be super gentle, be polite to them. Of course, if you need to brake emergently for emergency purposes, of course, no, not a problem. Do not overheat them. Then up to, let's say, 500 um, kilometers, that means 30, 300 miles. You can apply a little bit more pressure, try to put them through tiny bit of heat circle. Up to 1,000 kilometers, do not go super crazy. 1,000 kilometers means 600 miles. Don't go super crazy. After this period of time, the rotors will go through many bigger and smaller heat cycles. They will be ready and you can start to enjoy them. If you will hit them very hard from the very first moment you have installed them, there is a big chance you will twist them and you will destroy them. What it's also good to know is that you don't need to do any recalibration of the system, do not need to connect butts. Basically, in case you know what you're doing, you don't have to go to the BRP or any other service center. You just simply, is it plug and play? You change it and you go for a test ride carefully. If everything works fine, you're all good. Also, of course, ABS will remain working and that's actually one of the things why they are a little bit more expensive because they are expensive to produce. They're custom built in Italy. And you know how it is with Italians in a small, tiny village in the middle of nowhere. Every time they made one of these, there is a bell in a town hall ringing and everybody are celebrating. So just making fun. Anyway, guys, so ABS will be working and everything, but they are really expensive to produce. Now, in case you want one, martinthevlogger.com slash shop. But you know how it is with us. You know how it is with Martin and my colleagues. Our shop, it's not only about products. Everybody has products. Well, not these, but everybody has products. With us, we are family-owned business, plus you get amazing support. That's what matters. So all of you who will buy on martinthevlogger.com shop, you will receive direct contact to our help. So basically, it's me or my colleagues replying to you. I don't want to say 24-7, but we are pretty damn close, also replying like an idiot over the weekends. So actually, that's when you make the installations most of the time. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. In case you like what I do, subscribe, like, comment, complain, ask questions. And of course, don't forget, join in case you would like to receive some special discounts, MTV, Active Riders and more. Guys, buy yourself a floating rotor or not, it's your call. But always have fun and watch my YouTube channel.